hey guys welcome back to the channel so today we'll be making these centerpieces um, the colors is listed in the description box and please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and welcome if you're new here so let's jump into it i'll be making these centerpieces using 12 um 11 inch balloons which i am sizing down to an 8 inch and i am just randomly um inflating two different colors together and and i will be twisting them all together in a cluster so that is my quad that i have and now i am using um and now I'm making my next quad which will be now eight balloons and then I'm going to twist that together and to make one cluster eight balloons. And then I'm going to make one more quad of four balloons, which I would then twist together to make a full cluster of 12 inch balloons. I recommend if you're doing these centerpieces, unless you want to do it like your own different style or something like that. I recommend doing 12 balloons because it would give it that round look. If you try to do anything less, it does not look round. Um, to me, it just looked a little skimpy, but again, if that's the style you're going for, then have at it. But if you wanted to have that round look, 12 balloons is necessary. So now that I have my um, cluster 12 done, I am now going to do the bottom part, which I'll be using the uh, my agenda. But if you were doing a hand pump, I would say about two pumps should be good. This is a four inch, um, I sized them to four inches. And then for the cluster that I will be, the quad that I'll be doing on top would be sized to three inches. And if you're doing the Legenda, I used the 0.2 and I inflated it. I think I held it for about two or three times, but they sized around about three inches. So just smaller. So I like my bottom um, a little bit smaller than the top. That way it doesn't look, you know, um, I guess too busy uh, with like a thick bottom and a thick top so i like the bottom to be a little bit smaller here i put a hole in between the 11 inch balloon i tied a 260 on and then i put that on the pole if you guys want to know how i made these stands please check out the previous video there is a video on my channel on how i made these stands myself and now I am going to detail the cluster. So the big tip that I learned, which I think is really, really helpful when building any other kind of design, the smaller the space, like the area, the smaller your five inch balloons needs to be. So these are sized to about two inches. These are not the typical size um, five inch balloons that I use when I'm building my garlands. Those are sized to about three or three and a half inches. Because this is a smaller area and I want to add five inches on as a detail, I want to make sure that my five inches are smaller. So these are sized again to about two inches. That way when they are close to each other, they're not pretty much blending in and looking like a cluster. Um, and it looks aesthetically, it looks good. So the smaller the area the smaller your five inches need to be they should not be inflated all the way to five inches never i think they should never be inflated all the way to five inches unless that's the look you're going for but i think they should always be sized down to about you know the area that you're doing so because this was a smaller area and i wanted to really detail and the five inches will be very close in space i needed them to be smaller so they only detail the area and not blend in with the actual eight inch balloons um, and I'm making these, I'm using uh, some of them I tie neck to neck on here and some of them I use a 260 to just wrap around and, you know, tighten it up. And you pretty much can just do any way you want. That's pretty much how I did it. Um, yeah. <laughs> And now I am adding on the teddy bear, which is probably like the hardest part because I don't want my teddy bear to be slouching over or looking, you know, hanging off for dear life. So I feel like it's so hard trying to get a, a good position. But here I tie my teddy bear at three different points. So I do the neck and poor teddy bear. <laughs> I'm always feeling sad for the teddy bear, but I tie it at the neck. I tie it at the arm and I also tie it from the ear. And I'm using all of those um, different points to make sure that the teddy bear will not move. It does not, you know, change positions or anything. 
And it really helps because I did all my centerpieces at home and it did not. So when I went on site, it did not move. It did not, you know, change position. It was exactly how I left it. And that's pretty much it. If I, and I'm using fishing line if I finish. And this is how it looks. This is the final outcome, you guys. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the video if you guys want to see how I made the stands. But yeah, this is the final look. And don't forget to come back uh, for the final setup look on how I did this whole complete baby shower. Thank you, guys.